All right, this is a shoulder. It's had a history of rotator cuff pathology for some time. This is the glenohumeral joint first. We're seeing the glenoid below. We're seeing in the, in the foreground the humeral head, which has a little bit of wear on it. Um, this is the inferior recess. You can see the glenohumeral ligaments inferiorly and the capsule. And you can see that's a normal amount of capsule, but some inflammation on the inferior labrum. Uh, and we look superiorly anteriorly. There's a little inflammation there as well. Um, the glenohumeral ligaments, again, a little bit inflamed. Um, she does have a slightly positive drive-through sign, so she is a little bit laxed, um, but she does not have a tear. And she doesn't fully sublux. She subluxes a little bit. She doesn't fully sublux. Now we'll look, we're going to look and follow the biceps tendon next <clears throat> and work our way up towards the bicep that will exit from the shoulder. You can see an inflammation around that, but the tendon itself is not torn. But there's inflammation in the rotator interval. And then we see a little bit of a partial subscapularis tear there at the edge. Right there is a little partial subscapularis tear. Um, and then I'm going to look up, follow the biceps again, and come to the rotator cuff, and there's a gap there. A little traction on the shoulder. And then we see there's a, a hole, and that's most likely a chronic rotator cuff tear. Now, one of the ways we can feel that is to get a small cannula and through a lateral portal in the subacromial space, if we apply the cannula, if there's no tear in the cuff, you wouldn't be able to enter the glenohumeral joint. But if there is a tear, and you see it there, there's the gap. There's a full thickness tear of the rotator cuff. We're looking at the undersurface of it here. And we're seeing some fraying of the undersurface of the cuff. Again, the biceps tendon itself is relatively intact. Looks good. We can mobilize it a little bit to see there's a little fraying of the edge there. And then a little bit on the edge near the subscapularis. So there's a little partial injury to the biceps. But again, nothing terrible. And a little bit of partial tearing of the subscap there, but very, very small. Not something I would ever go after in this patient. She's a little older, and I don't think it's significant. Again, coming back here, we'll, start, we'll see the undersurface of the tear in the bony bed. And this is where the fibers have come off the bone in this area. 